Please welcome Gabriel Iglesias. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is so exciting. Fine. This is like a childhood dream come true right here, you guys. I'm on the Arsenio Hall show. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I'm 100 pounds lighter. Thank you. <laughs> I know everybody in the front is like, well, how big were you? <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. And for me, this is so, uh, so exciting because like, I'm, you know, I'm the backstage talking to Marlon and we're watching the clips. And for the first time, I get to actually promote a film. Like a year ago, I got to do a movie called Magic Mike and I couldn't really promote it because, uh, you know, <laughs> well, not for kids anyway. You know, hey, kids, go tell your parents to take you to see, you know. <laughs> Está sucio, cochino. Yeah, so I couldn't do that. And then, uh, you know, a few months later, I went from an R-rated film about male strippers to a Disney film called Planes. And to do, yeah, to do a Disney film, you guys, is amazing because you cannot work for a bigger company than Disney. You know, you work for Disney? No, seriously. You work for Disney? Woo! It's like a relationship because before I worked for Disney, no one wanted to work with me. You know, all of a sudden you get a hold of a good one and everyone is calling, you know, Nickelodeon was calling, Fox ne uh, Sports and, and Cartoon Network. And Disney makes you feel very comfortable. They let you know right away, Gabriel, you have nothing to worry about. Disney is going to take really good care of you, really good care of you. And then Nickelodeon called and said, we'll do things Disney won't. And I was like, well, hello, Nickelodeon. <laughs> so there I go, cheating on Disney. I go to Nickelodeon Studios in Burbank because they want to pitch me a cartoon. And to get a show pitched to you is very different than auditioning. I walk in, and the director comes out, and she was really cool. She's like, let me just cut to the chase. This is a special cartoon here at Nickelodeon. It's about a little toy car. This toy car has a bunch of other little friends that are also toy cars. Each toy car has its own individual personality. There's the happy car, there's sad car, there's crazy car. And one of these toy cars, we need to be a little different. And in Hollywood, when they say different, they mean Mexican. That's, that's what they mean. They'll never tell you that because it's a little politically incorrect. You know, we, we want you to play it. No, 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 no. So what they do is they give you a series of suggestive words to let you know the type of direction they want you to take a certain character. So they walk me into a sound room. They close the door. They put me in front of a podium with a microphone and a script. And they give me the headphones. I put them on. And then the director goes behind the glass. And she starts to talk to me through a PA system. And she's like, okay, listen, Gabriel. If you could just read the top line, we're going to figure this character out. And then we're going to take it from there. Okay? Whenever you're ready. So, the line that I'm supposed to read is, hey guys, I can't believe we're all here. So I'm like, I got this. Here we go. <clears throat> this is Gabriel Iglesias. Take one. <clears throat> hey guys, I can't believe that we're all here. Okay, listen, that's really good. Really, really good. If you could just do me a favor and give me a little spice. <laughs> that would be super. As soon as I heard her say spice, I'm like, oh my God, they want me to play it like a gardener. <laughs> now I realize I messed up. So I'm like, oh, here we go. Fine. This is Gabriel Iglesias take two. <clears throat> hey guys, I cannot believe that we are all here. <laughs> okay, listen, you sound really unenthusiastic. If you could do me a favor and give me more energy and double the spice. I'm talking muy caliente, okay? <laughs> Whenever you're ready. <laughs> this is Gabriel Iglesias, take three. <clears throat> hey guys, I cannot believe that we are all here. Okay, listen, we know you do sound effects in your show. Can you give us a sound effect for a toy car? I'm like, toy car, I got this, no problem. Here we go. <clears throat> Can you put spice on that? <laughs> they want me to put an accent on a sound effect. I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do. I'm like, I don't know. Varum. Can you give us anything else? I am so frustrated. I'm so annoyed. I'm so ready to walk. I just grab the microphone and I do this. <laughs> I 
just as I'm about to take off my headphones, she looks at me and she says, perfect. Thanks, you guys, very much for having me. Thank you, Arsenio.